So we just wrapped up a bunch of engine dyno testing on our 440 cubic inch LS7. It's a 13 to one motor. And uh, one of the things that we did was uh, actually test the factory 90 millimeter LS throttle body versus our cable driven 105. Now, the 90 mil throttle body uh, works in conjunction with the Terminator X Max or the Dominator with our drive-by wire harness. Plugs right in, set up in the software really easy, so that's always an option. Uh, for those that wanna run a cable setup, no big deal as well. We have uh, s several different combinations. We have a taper bore, straight bore, 105. We actually ran this 105 on the 105 top with the straight bore. So our 105 essentially flows about 1500 CFM versus about 1000 on the uh, 90 millimeter throttle body. And what we found is our numbers were about what we expected. At, we were seeing the horsepower increase at higher engine speeds when the air demand was there. Uh, so with the high ram, we made 732 horsepower with the 105 and uh, 727 horsepower on the 90. So we picked up about five horse. Now, we also took this 105 and ran it on our MSD Atomic intake manifold as well. While that manifold is actually designed for the 102, you can kind of see a little bit of the uh, inside of the uh, opening of the throttle body inlet. Um, we were still able to run the 105 on the Atomic, no problem. And on that one as well, we picked up power above 5,700. Essentially, we picked up 5.3 horsepower, which was on the 105, 718.7 horsepower and on the 90, 713.7 horsepower. So again, solid gains, regardless if you're looking for a 105 or 90. So if you're looking for a throttle body for your next LS build, Holly has a range from 90 millimeter all the way up to 105 to suit whatever you need.